Awesome. James, you mentioned on Monday at Media Day the, the desire to make quarterback's life a living hell back in the pocket. Right. What do you think is about your guys' defensive line this year that's going to be able to make that happen? Oh, yeah, we just got to learn how to rush together, man. You see this past couple of three practices that we had, man, we all learn each other moves and everything, learn how to rush together, make sure we crush that pocket each and every time, make sure that quarterback's uncomfortable. And the first three practices, we're on a good start right now. And the best part about it, we have so much more to grow too. You know what I'm saying? Getting with the games, giving a straight rush and everything, learn when to make the outside or inside move, when not to. You know, it's just like all just thinking together while saying anything. So just having that natural pass rush as a team, you know, that's one of the big emphasis. You've never been a guy to shy away from speaking up to, but even just seeing it in practice, just helping out the guys and helping out your position group. You know, focus on the little things. You know, what motivates you to, to keep doing that as you guys keep getting better together? Oh, well, I doubt, man. You know, because, like, you know, the young guys are this future of Wisconsin, though. You know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure they get the best foot forward and also understand what standard we're supposed to hold ourselves to account with. You know, if I see Hank and Dylan, Mel, Ernest, any other young guys right there, you know, I'm going to give them all the tips I can get, man. You know, if they play good like that, can help me out even this year, you know. So, you know. You got to make sure the young guys is just as good as the older guys, too, you know what I'm saying? And make sure their technique is sound because you don't want to create bad habits. And that's the one thing you don't want to start young. Because if you're young, that's all you know. So, you know, you got to make sure you start off strong. From the outside of this program, can you understand why people might have most questions defensively about the D-line? Just wondering about production and rotations and things like that? Oh, yeah, a lot of doubt, man. You know, a lot of times, you know, it's just a lot of experience and, like, not a lot of guys, you know what I'm saying, coming together the team. I feel like that, you know, now this year, you know, I'm not saying last year wasn't like a team as a whole of everything, but, like, everybody's on the same page, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have leaders like with Kurt, Ben, you know, me, Cage, you know, everybody's on the same page, make sure we hold each other accountable, not everybody, let nobody slack off, you know? So we got to make sure that everybody's on the same page and, like, on the same note. And outside looking in, you know, you might not see that, but, you know, behind closed doors, you know, we really go at it and we're really trying to make sure we get the best foot forward, so. Coach, make sure that you guys stay accountable too, you know, whether it's, you know, he's, he says something to you guys or you guys keep yourselves accountable early on too. Mm -hmm. Notice like even one small thing, he made you guys go back and do that same drill and then, you know, you earn that, you earn the finish, you know, tell us a little bit about that accountability early on in camp. Well, I doubt, man, you can't have no sloppy reps, man, you know what I'm saying? This is fall camp, this is the, uh, like Coach Fix said, this is the most important 32 days of the, uh, the season right here. So this is where you work your craft and work your, uh, your, your technique and everything because, you know, you don't rise to the occasion, you fall to the level of your training and this is our training right here. So every single day we have Make sure we practice our reps like it's our last rep. So make sure, so later down the road, you know what I'm saying, you actually can just prepare and not worry too much about, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. You can just follow to your level of training. You've been preparing this whole time during fall camp. So, you know, we're coming to five minutes level with Coach Whitlow, or we're going ahead and do a fan share, we're trying to run off the ball, stuff like that. That's the part of your training that you need to get better at. So, yeah. so is there a particular drill that you really like because uh, uh, you're confident you're gonna get a good foothold, you're, you're confident that you're, you're gonna win the leverage battle? Oh man, I say the, the drill. I'm like, if I got a good rep in, it's gonna be pods, man. You know, get the exchange period. Cause that's when you get a reaction, get a good strike on them, and everything. Just warm you up and everything. Get ready for our iron, for iron drill, or pride period, or inside zone, like everybody else call it. I feel like that drill is probably the most uh, active for everybody right there. Cause you know, once you get a good feel in that, and you shooting off your hips and getting off the gap right there, you know, it's gonna be a good day for you. So, yeah. What's your impression of the offensive line you've been going against this camp and the challenge they can present compared to even a year ago? Oh yeah, so I feel like, and I'm almost, almost biased with D-line because I feel like we always gonna kick ass and everything and do our job. But uh, you know, they they really good though. They can, they can be able to, uh, they're really good on the outside zones, the inside zones and everything. They really good at making sure they can play to their strength. You know, mom is really good using his length. Huber's really good at anchoring, good job to be in position battles and everything. Renfro's really good, Bruce Rebro know how to make the calls and everything, get the slides right and everything. So I feel like, well, that's the side I'd be on the most. I can't tell much about Jack Nelson and uh, Brunner, but on my side at least, you know, I feel like those guys are, Going on the same pace and getting better every day. So. James, you played with a lot of different outside linebackers here. Yeah. When you've got like star rushers like a Nick Kerbray back in the day, like what does that do for you as a defensive lineman having somebody like that? Because we've seen Pius and Lowry and DP looking like they could be maybe that level this season. Oh yeah, well I doubt man. You know, having them get outside linebacker next year, you know I mean they're gonna slide out to the outside linebacker, make sure they get me get one on one so I can do my job too, you know. You know, it's kinda tough going getting double team or getting advice and everything. You gotta push the pocket and let your guys outside get the one on ones. Now, if you're outside linebackers, you can get a good rush. You know, they can let folks on me, and I can make my make my work. You know, what I'm saying work through my stuff that I've been working on this entire fall camp. So it's really good to have guys like that. You know, with John, Leon, DP, or even Tommy uh, Helmberger, any of those guys. You know, they're really good rushers, and you know, make my job a lot easier. So. Is there anything better than putting the offensive line on a butt with the little <laughs> Oh, yeah, a lot of doubt, man. You know, your first day, put the pads on. You know, I got to set the tone, man. Got to set the tone. I looked at Coach Willow like, Coach Willow, watch this. Watch this. And, you know, I set the tone and, you know,
carry on the practice. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you.